Breaking news from space. Right now, the sun is angry. A massive solar storm could slam into Earth this month. And if it does, your phone might die. Your GPS could vanish. The entire internet could go dark for days, maybe even weeks. Sounds like science fiction, right? It's not. It's happening as we speak. I'm Galaski, and today we're diving into how a storm 93 million miles away could flip your world upside down, and what you can do right now to stay safe, connected, and ahead of everyone else. Every 11 years, the sun's magnetic field flips. We're currently at the peak of solar cycle 25, 2025 to 2026. NASA and NOAA satellites are tracking increased sunspot and flare activity. The sun has hit its boiling point. Scientists call it solar maximum. And this isn't just another day in space weather. This month, solar flares and coronal mass ejections, giant clouds of charged particles, are heading toward Earth. When those particles hit, they can supercharge our magnetic field knock out satellites, mess with navigation systems, and cause global blackouts, like the one in 1989 that took out all of Quebec. Think about how much you rely on space, GPS, banking, weather forecasts, your phone signal, internet data. All of it depends on satellites orbiting Earth. One big flare can knock those out. Now imagine, your maps stop working, your card payments fail, and your Wi-Fi goes down. You're basically back to the 1980s overnight. So yeah, a solar storm isn't just a headline. It's a real-world problem for every single one of us. In 1859, the Carrington event, the biggest solar storm ever recorded, lit up the skies with auroras as far south as Cuba. Telegraph wires caught fire. If that same storm hit today, experts say we'd lose satellites, power grids, and communications for weeks, maybe months. And here's the crazy part. Scientists say we're overdue for another storm of that size. Which brings us to right now, November 2025. We're sitting right in the danger zone. So what exactly happens when a solar storm hits? Think of it like space lightning, but on a global scale. When those charged particles hit Earth's magnetic field, they induce electric currents in anything conductive, power lines, pipelines, satellite circuits. Your phone, it relies on those satellites. Your Wi-Fi, linked to communication relays in orbit. Your car GPS, same story. And when that electromagnetic chaos reaches the surface, it can overload transformers, shut down grids, and permanently fry hardware. In 1989, a solar storm blacked out the entire province of Quebec in just 90 seconds. Six million people lost power for nine hours. Hospitals switched to backup generators. Airports went dark. Fast forward to 2025, we have thousands more satellites and way more dependency on them. A similar storm today could hit everything. Communications, transportation, finance, even military networks. And this month, NOAA scientists say the sun's activity is the highest it's been in over two decades. NASA, the European Space Agency, and NOAA are watching closely. They use satellites like SOHO and STEREO to monitor solar eruptions in real time. They can give us a few hours, sometimes a day, of warning. If a major flare heads our way, Governments can protect the grid by temporarily shutting down vulnerable systems. Airlines can reroute polar flights. Satellites can be switched to safe mode. But for you, you'll want your own plan. All right, let's talk solutions. 
What can you actually do if a solar storm hits? One, protect your electronics. Use surge protectors and unplugged devices if major solar storm alerts go out. Two, keep a portable power bank charged. For sensitive electronics, store backups in a simple Faraday pouch or metal tin. It blocks electromagnetic interference. Three, stay informed. Follow NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center or the Aurora Alerts app. If they issue a G4 or G5 storm alert, treat it seriously. Preparation isn't paranoia. It's just being smart when the universe throws a curveball. For most people, it'll just mean GPS glitches, spotty signals, or a few auroras lighting up the sky. But for industries, aviation, shipping, banking, power, it's serious. Pilots rely on GPS for routes. Farmers rely on satellites for precision farming. Even your ATM and credit card transaction travel through space-based networks. So yes, one storm on the sun can ripple through everything from your Uber app to Wall Street. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. Solar storms create stunning auroras, those dancing lights you see near the poles. This month, because of increased activity, people as far south as California and Spain might see them for the first time ever. And every storm teaches us more. NASA's Parker Solar Probe is flying closer to the sun than ever before, collecting data that could help predict storms days in advance. That means better protection for Earth and for you. So now you know, space weather isn't some distant threat. It's happening above your head right now. Here's what I want you to do. Download an alert app. Charge your power bank tonight. Share this video so your friends don't freak out after the storm hits. And tell me in the comments, if the internet went down for three days, what's the first thing you'd miss the most? The sun gave us life, but it can also remind us how fragile that life is. The next time your GPS reroutes, your Wi-Fi drops, or the night sky glows green, remember, it's the universe saying hello. I'm Galaski, and this was your look at the real power of the sun. Stay curious, stay prepared, and I'll see you under the stars.